Hello, my name is Patina, and today I'm going to teach you the power word take. Take is one of those power words that is very powerful in English. We can use it to create many different words and expressions. Take away, take after, takes off, take on, take it from me, take in, take up. There are many, many more examples. Let's get started. Now, let's look at grammar patterns with the word take. The first pattern is take plus a noun phrase, and sometimes is followed by an adverbial. An adverbial is a word that helps describe how something happens. We use this to talk about moving something or someone from one place to another. Here are some examples. Take these trousers to the dry cleaner. Take my computer to my sister's house. I was taken to a very nice restaurant. She was taken to jail. The second pattern is take plus two noun phrases. And we use this to talk about moving something to someone. Can you take Graham this book? The first noun phrase is Graham, and the second noun phrase is this book. We can also change the order. That means that we can have the first noun phrase as the object, and the second noun phrase as the person who's going to receive the action. In this case, we have to put the word to in front of the person. So we could change it to, can you take this book to Graham? Here's another example. I was thinking of taking my mother some flowers. My mother is the first noun phrase and some flowers is the second noun phrase. The next grammar pattern is take plus a noun phrase plus a time expression. Sometimes it's followed by to plus an infinitive verb. And we use this to talk about the duration of journeys or actions. How long does the flight take? It takes me 20 minutes to get to work. That flight must have taken you hours. Now let's look at some phrases with the word take. Take collocates with many nouns to form compound verb phrases. Collocates means it goes together with. Here are some examples. Take the bus. Take the train. Take a taxi. Take the metro. These are examples of take collocating with different types of transportation. It can also collocate with food and medicine. Take milk. Take sugar, take drugs, take a pill. Or we often use it to talk about daily routines. Take a shower, take a nap, take a break, take a walk. Take can also be used to talk about exams. For example, take an exam, take a test. It's used to talk about control, take control of, or take control over, take the lead on, take power, take responsibility for, take office. Some others include take place in, take part in, take pity on, take offense at, take advice from. Take combines with many particles to form phrasal verbs. If you take after someone, you resemble them in some way. She takes after her father. They both have the same type of hair. If you take something away, you remove it to another place. The boys took my sofa away. If you take an amount from another amount, you subtract it. Take $5 from $8 and you have $3. Take is also used in expressions like these. If you take back something, 
that you have bought, you return it to the shop where you bought it. I took back the new sweater I bought. It was too big. If you take back something that you have said, you admit you were wrong. I'm sorry, I take that back. If you take in or take up an item of clothing, you make it narrower or shorter so that it fits. The new pants I bought were too big. I need to take them in. If you are taken in by someone, I'm sorry, if you're taken in by something, you are tricked by it. She was taken in by the handsome man. If you take off your clothes, you get undressed. Here are some more. If a business or an idea takes off, it becomes successful. Facebook took off very quickly with university students. If a plane takes off, it leaves the ground. Delta Flight 408 is taking off in three minutes. If you take on a job or an assignment, you agree to do it. She took on the new job. I hope she likes it. If you take someone out, you take them to be entertained. He took me out to see a movie. If you take something over, you become responsible for it or in control over it. She took over my task. Take is also used in some of these expressions. If you take to something or someone, you start to like it or enjoy it. She took to him immediately. If you take up an activity or an offer, you start doing it or you accept it. I took on that new project. If something takes up your time, it consumes your time. My new hobby takes up all my free time. Take is also used to give an example of what you have been talking about. Young teachers are very popular with their learners. Take David, for example. His students love him. David is an example of a young teacher who's very popular. I take your point. I see what you mean. I take your point, but don't you think? This is often used when people disagree about things, and it's rather formal. Take it from me, or Take my word for it. This is used to persuade someone that what you are saying is true. Aliens are watching us. Take it from me. Here are some practice activities with the word take. Number one, choose the best word to complete these sentences. Use take or bring. Take means to move an object away from the speaker, but bring means to move an object towards the speaker. Let's look at A. When you come, can you, your camera with you? The missing word is bring. The speaker wants the other person to move the camera towards him. B. If you go to the mountains, Take lots of warm clothes. The speaker is not at the mountains, so it's move away from the speaker. C. Can you take this bowl back to Mrs. Denham? The speaker is not at Mrs. Denham's house, so the speaker wants someone else to move the bowl away. D. We'd love to come to your party. What shall we bring. In this case, we're talking about moving an object to the, the other person's home. E. We're going to Lucy's party. Shouldn't we take something? Again, we're moving an object away from the speaker. We're taking the object to Lucy's party. F. What should I do with your suitcase? Bring it here. G. Can I help you? Yes. Can you take this rubbish out? Exercise 2. Put the red expressions in the correct sentences. A. I was invited to 
Take part in a television discussion. B. The council hopes citizens will take pride in their city and not throw garbage everywhere. C. A coup is when the army takes power in a country. D. The Olympic Games take place every four years. E. I took pity on the homeless cat and gave it some milk. F. I take pleasure in simple things like gardening and cooking. Exercise 3. Rewrite these sentences using phrasal verbs with take in place of the underlined words. A. My new hair dryer doesn't work. I'll take it back. B. I was taken in by the scam email and sent them $100. C. My time is taken up just looking after the children. D. Who do you take after? Your father or your mother? E. In his old age, he took up dangerous sports like hang gliding. F. I've taken on the job of designing our new catalog. Exercise 4. In this exercise, we have idioms with take. Match the two parts of these sentences. She gave a really great speech. You have to take your hat off to her. B. I'm offering you a 5% increase. That's my last offer. Take it or leave it. C. Henry didn't expect that. He was taken by surprise. D. She won't take control. She's not going to take the bull by the horns.